In this video, we're gonna talk about the cloud projects that are keeping you from getting hired and the cloud projects that will get you hired. The reason I wanted to make this video was every single day I spend some time on LinkedIn and I look at people that are doing cloud projects and the way they're messaging cloud projects and they're working so hard. And so often, the projects that are peeping out, people are putting out are keeping hiring managers from hiring them. Now there are projects that will get you hard and there are projects that will terrify hiring managers. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Most people, sadly do cloud projects that convince the hiring manager to stay far away from the person that's actually trying to learn. And I don't ever want you to make that mistake. Okay, so you think about it. How could doing a cloud project possibly hurt me and keep me from getting hired? Well, it's not actually the project itself. It's the, it's the projects that people are doing and the way they message those projects. So, Let's talk about what that is. When it comes for get to getting hired, you have to have the skills for the job that you need to be hired from. And not only do you need to know them, the hiring manager also needs to know that you have those skills. So the projects you put out can either show people you're ready or you don't even know what the job is. So let's look at a real world cloud project and a real world environment. In a real world, we've got, uh, say, an enterprise, two to three uh, public clouds, several SaaS vendors, and about 25 to about 500 various applications. That's a real cloud environment for a normal enterprise. Now, unfortunately, and I don't know why, somebody had said, oh, you want to be a cloud engineer? Build yourself a WordPress website on a cloud provider and then create a 30 page document of ridiculous screenshots of every step that you took along the way. Now this is a project that will keep you from getting hired and here's the reason why. First, uh, that's not a project that a cloud engineer would really be doing in real life. That would be something that a web developer would do where cloud is not even their job. They just put the systems up there. So that's something you'd see maybe a web developer would do, not a cloud engineer. Now, the worst part of this is effective communication is critical in business and the ability to communicate quickly and succinctly and be able to deliver very important information in a very small space. So now when this person writes a 30 page document about how to do something that's not even their job. It's basically about almost nothing. There's only a few lines and commands that needed to be done. This person shows that they can't communicate effectively and they think that the project, which isn't even related to their job, is actually the skills. So it's showing the hiring manager, not only does this person not have any, any idea what to do their job, they have no idea what the job is and they definitely don't have the skills to do it. And even if they did, I can't hire that person on my team because I need someone that can communicate effectively. Now, by comparison, if that cloud engineer did this, they built themselves a private cloud on a couple of servers, say an OpenStack cloud or an Nutanix cloud. Then they connected that cloud through secure networking to two other cloud providers, set up a few hundred virtual machines and containers with maybe 50 different uh, applications, proper networking, proper security. Now that is a real world cloud project that a hiring manager will care about. Now to be fair, this project is gonna take at least three months of research before you can build anything. Now that's the three months of research that really matters because this will teach the engineer the underlying technology, the trade-offs of one technology to another technology, the integration challenges we're going to have and uh, how we're gonna spread the load in an environment and how to secure it. That is real world experience for a cloud engineer. Now to be able to create that and document that effectively shows a hiring manager, wow, this person's got skills, maybe I should talk to them. Or say the WordPress website shows not to hire the person. Now let's say we wanted to create a real world cloud project for a cloud architect or an AWS solutions architect or an Azure solutions architect or any cloud solutions architect. Well, now it's again a different project. So if that cloud architect tried to show the world that they could set up a WordPress website, the hiring manager would say, well, you're not gonna be setting up WordPress websites. Uh, that's not part of your job and they'd be concerned about the skills and the competency to do the job. So what is it that a cloud solutions architect could do as a cloud project? Well, uh, they could create a reference architecture. 
Uh, for example, what kind of an architecture would you create for a banking trading system with new technologies that exist? Or may maybe creating some thought leader do leadership documents. For example, how could AI benefit the healthcare delivery system? For example, where could it be used in, say, radiology? Where could it be used in decision support? Where could it be used in QA and augmenting and auditing charts, what have you? So a thought leadership document like that would be an architecture document that's doing the cloud architecture solutions architect job. Now, giving a presentation at a conference is a common cloud architect or solution architect thing to do. So that would be a real world cloud project. Uh, delivering an architecture presentation, again, real world cloud project, respond to RFIs, RFPs, RFQs, real world cloud projects, evaluate emerging technologies and see what kinds of business challenges these emerging technologies can solve, real world cloud projects. So the key with any kind of a cloud project is to make sure they highlight your skills, further develop the skills for your actual cloud career, the cloud career that you actually desire. See, when it comes to the hiring manager perspective, we don't hire hobbyists, we don't hire enthusiasts, we hire people that have professional skills. The ability to evaluate one option, offer another option, and realize that if I choose this option, I'm gonna gain this and lose this. So really it's the judgment, that professional judgment that we're looking for when we hire a professional like a cloud architect or a solutions architect, cloud engineer, or any other career you desire. So go out there and build your skills. Now, I have to tell you, I've worked with countless people that have taken boot camps and done years of cloud projects. In fact, I'll tell you, the majority of the students that we get have done these boot camps. They've done these cloud projects and we have to retrain them to, to get hired. And then after the retraining and teaching people real world skills and real world projects that were created by real world people with decades of real world experience, then people get hired. So keep in uh, mind the message you're sending. Is it showing you as an expert? Is it showing you as a professional? Is it showing you with judgment? Is it showing me why I should hire you? That's what you need to do in your cloud projects and that's how you need to message them. Now, if you'd like to become a cloud architect, solutions architect, AI architect, enterprise architect, We've got programs on all of these, but we also have a free webinar that we run every single week. Where we'll go over the architecture role, talk about the skills that you need for various architecture roles, like cloud architect versus security architect versus enterprise architect. And we'll tell you what you need to do to get hired. It's free, it's live on Zoom. We'll answer your career questions and anything that you desire to help you on this free webinar. The link for this free how to become an architect webinar is in the description of this video. While you're in the description of this video, registering for that webinar, we've got documents on how to win the interview, documents on how to get your first cloud architect job, enterprise architect job, AI architect job, and so much more. Check them out, sign up for some free resources, and let me know how they helped you in your career. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your IT architect career. Talk to you soon.